peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Lightning coming back again with some more spiritual biddles. And today I'm going in on the importance of candles at your altar. This is a good one, family. This is a real good one. See, a lot of people aren't aware of why we use candles at our altar. Let me share. First thing, candles emanate fire. And fire is the element. And it's good to have all four elements at your altar. Earth, wind, fire, and water. Secondly, the candles let your ancestors know that you're there. It's almost the equivalent of cutting the light on to a room and telling everyone to come in, let's eat. Whether it's eat off your prayers, eat off your the ancestor money you're burning, your well wishes, your energy, your, your prosperity, Whatever it is you want to give, it's time to feast, ancestors. And that's what the candles are for. Whenever you light a candle at your altar, it sends a... See, first off, candles are a multi-dimensional being. Yes, the elements are real and they are entities. And the light from this flame transcends different dimensions. Although we can't see them, other dimensions can see the light from these flames. And when you're at your altars and your ancestor sees this, they know it's time to come share with you. That's one of the main reasons why I use candles at my altar. One thing I do at my altar, I have two candles here on my altar. Not these two candles specifically, but I have two candles at my altar. And in the middle of my altar, I have a cauldron. I have a nice steel cauldron that you could probably forge a weapon out of. It's really thick. And when I burn my sage, my incense, and burn my ancestor money, I envision the smoke going through the portal. The two candles are my portal over to my ancestors. The quickest way to send things over to the other dimension is through fire. You burn it over to them. A lot of people don't know or don't practice this, but I do. I have advanced tools and medallions that help me get things over to my ancestors quicker. And what I do with the cauldron, I burn clothing, not real clothes, pictures of clothing, cars, warmth, medicine. I burn actual hell notes, which is ancestor money. I burn homes, mansions for my ancestors and myself. See, there's an aspect of yourself that are in the, that are, that's on the other side as well. And you can set yourself up for success. So when you transition over to the other realm of existence, you have everything you need. You won't be wandering aimlessly. You have everything you need. All the warmth, clothing, money, assets you need on the other end. The ancients knew this. The ancients knew this. You know, things, resources are as plentiful as they are here on the other side. So you got to prepare yourself. You got to prepare yourself and take care of your ancestors. You have to, because a lot of them didn't practice what we practice today. They didn't know about ancestor altars, or if they did know about them, they were told that it was taboo and wrong. You know, in religion, they have altars in churches all the time. They have them all the time, but they teach you it's wrong. Most families, we have pictures on the walls and things like that. That's pretty much an altar. You don't really give them food or burn ancestor money or light candles, but it's still an altar. It's something innate in us that want to praise our ancestors and keep their memory going in our lives. And that's cool, but it's also good to do things for them. See, your ancestors can make moves for you in the other reality that will help you here. More so than they can do when they were alive. And I understand that. You know... Peace and blessings be upon my father. You know, he was never there for me in real life. You know? I don't even think he knew what school I went to. He never called me my birthdays. He never gave me a Christmas present. He never even looked at one of my port cars or anything like that. And as a child, it was rough on me because I didn't understand why. I used to wonder, why me? But then I came to the understanding that we choose our life. So we can evolve spiritually. And I wouldn't be the Chris and Lightning you see today if I hadn't gone through all those hardships. Those hardships made me strong. They made me a warrior. They made me a spiritual warrior bunny. You know what I mean? And that's what I am today. 
I give thanks for those challenges. Now, I know this, so when I'm at my altar, I tell my pops, hey pops, I know you weren't there for me in reality, but I give you full permission to help me now in any way you can. You know, he died when he was 58 about six years ago. And I give him full permission to help me in any way he can. I don't ask for things specifically. That's not how it works. Sometimes you can shortchange yourself by doing that. You know, your higher self, deities, your ancestors, they know what you need that will make you happy. And sometimes it's good to just tell them, help me in any way you see fit. I accept. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And forget about it. And forget about it. Another thing with these candles, fall in love with your altar practices. Don't look at it as work. Don't look at it as a daunting task. Oh, I gotta do my altar today. I gotta take care of my ancestors. Don't look at it like that. Love it. I haven't missed a day at my altar in a long time. I've learned to love it. And the more I love it, the more I do it, the more I can program my reality. My altar literally alters my reality. I want you guys to fall in love with your practices. The energy and frequency of love is very important in your magic and your altar practices. I give a lot of thanks over there every day. When I eat, they eat. When I feel joy, they feel joy. Even when I'm at, at, at not at my altar lighting candles, I look over there, I send them prayers, I say divine prayers, and I think about them constantly throughout the day, even when I'm not around them. Okay, family? So I really want you guys to start upping the ante on your altar practices. Get your two candles, light them on your altar. Even if you just use one, that's fine. But light that thing every day. Take care of your ancestor more. Be that beacon of love and joy that your ancestors need in their life. They need things. You're watching this channel right now because something within your reality led you here to help you help your ancestors. I'm not doing this channel for me. I'm doing it for you. I want you to win. And this is the best way to help you win. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. No one can stop you. Okay, family? Love yourself enough to help yourself win. If you're not winning, try this. Try something different. I assure you, you erect your altar, your life will change. You erect your altar, you feel closer to your ancestors more now than ever. You erect your altar and you can begin reprogramming the reality in which you've always dreamed of having and living in. It's as simple as that. Before I had my altar up, I wasn't an altar. I didn't have a website. I wasn't helping people. I had a job. Going someplace I didn't like. Now, I don't have a job. I work. I make money. But I don't work for anyone else. I work for myself. I'm winning. And it's all because of the altar. It's all because of the altar family. So if you want to win, get you an altar. I may host an altar course soon because a lot of people have a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions about the altar. I, get, I, I spend hours in consultations talking about many facets of altars, how to set them up. If you really want to know more altar magic, you really want to talk about the altar or anything spiritually, reach out to me. Go to my website, theenlightenedjourney.com. Invest in yourself by investing in me and setting up a consultation with me. I'm on your, I'm on, I, I'm open. I'm open to help you. And I can help you, family. So on that note, peace and love. Check out my books on Amazon, Poverty Consciousness, the best-selling book on Amazon. Wealth Consciousness, I just dropped that book about a month ago, and The Enlightened Taught. Every Monday I can be reached on blogtalkradio.com forward slash twin flame radio, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 619-924-0835. And until next time, family, winning!